Please welcome Pavel Polakowski. I think we would, somebody stole our mic. <laughs> Can we get another mic, please? Maybe we'll take that, oh, that's probably. We'll trade, we and I will trade. Okay, here we go. Thank you for, thank you for being here. Um, I know that this is a very personal film for you um, because, as I understand it, these two central characters um, who have this sprawling decades-long love story, ups and downs of all sorts after the uh, end of World War II, are based on none other than your parents? Yeah, based in a, generally speaking, let's say they inspired these two characters, my, my parents. They had a similarly uh, tempestuous uh, relationship which went over 40 years, but involved love at first sight, divorce, remarriage, divorce, leaving the country, marrying other people, marrying again, <laughs> and, uh, and so on. So yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of material. I had to, <laughs> I had to simplify it a bit. <laughs> And it's still very complicated. <laughs> right. Was it, I think, you're, you're, was it cathartic for you to kind of go and sort through this, this sort of uh, relationship they had? Did it help you to understand why they were the way they were? I don't think cathartic is the word. You know, making a film is anything, it's just a nightmare, you know. It's like, a, <laughs> like just, it's cathartic to survive right. the film. <laughs> but, it, but it was nice to have built them a little kind of monument right. uh, long after they died. Uh, it's in beautiful black and white, as we just saw. However, I heard there was some consideration given to not doing it in black and white. W what did you consider doing, and how would that have changed things? It, we made too much of it. We once said it that yeah. we considered, maybe for half a day we considered oh, okay. it <laughs> to make it. Yeah. It clearly had to be in black and white. Uh, and then at, su at some point, my, my DP, Wukash, said, you know, it's so embarrassing. We already made a black and white film, you know, it's sort of <laughs> so uncool to... <laughs> so for, for a day, we thought, okay, if it wasn't in, in black and white, what color would it be? And of course, Poland wasn't very colorful in the 50s, so, so it was a pretty arbitrary choice. Um, uh, we considered, f as a joke, to, to, as a, you know, to use a kind of Soviet Technicolor, uh, uh, kind of like washed, like out, right? washed out yeah. greens and reds, you know, there, there were such things, or Orvo, the East German stock, to kind of approximate that look, but they would have looked really ridiculous and kind of <laughs> fanciful. <laughs> no, but it had to be black and white, it was pretty clear. You have some history with your central couple in, in this film. Um, can you explain how you came to know them, work with them, trust them with, with really, uh, complex parts here. Well, Joanna, uh, who plays the lead, uh, I met uh, maybe 10 years ago. Uh, I did an audition for a film that never happened, but uh, the, the, the upshot was that I met her, uh, and she was fantastic. She, she came into the room, and the room lit up, and the audition was kind of the usual kind of boring audition, but at some point she said, this is so, let me just sing, and she broke into song. <laughs> And she sung, sang really beautifully, a kind of mountain song. She comes from the mountains. And, uh, and then I've been thinking, how can I work with her? I in fact, inv inv invented a part for, for her in a film I did in Paris. And then in Ida, she, uh, she doesn't exactly act, she just sings in Ida. She's a, she's a pop singer. So I knew it had to be her when I was writing it. Um, I, didn't, I wasn't sure she could do all the range because there's so many facets to that character. I knew she could do some of it. Uh, but then we had a lot of time to prepare. We worked and worked and I tortured her and I tortured everyone. <laughs> uh, and, and in the end it, 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 was, it, it, was, it, it worked. And Tomasz came, had you worked before? Tomasz I never worked with before. I was looking for, um, in fact for a while I was looking for musicians who could act. So, uh, so, so that kind of magic that happens when people actually are performing together, you know, would, would be there. But none of the musicians I uh, met could act, so uh, 
Uh, so uh, th then the, the main thing was to find an actor who's a good actor, but also has, the, has this kind of pre-war look, you know, uh, like a, an old-fashioned leading man, uh, somebody like Gregory Peck, you know. And these, these guys have been withdrawn from production lately, you know, there, there's, not, there's not too many around. <laughs> and Tomas was one of the few, you know, and he didn't think of himself as such, you know, it, 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 it took a bit of um, convincing that, you know, you are that man. Uh, and he's a tremendous actor, great to work with. Well, I've, I've spoken with Joanna, who says that, not complaining, she's thrilled to be in it, but she did note that you like to do a lot of takes, um, sometimes dozens, and it can be the slightest little thing that gets changed between them. So what, are you generally just a perfectionist, or are there things with this film in particular that made you do as many takes as you did? I'm a kind of chaotic perfectionist, you know, it's a, it's a curse. So, no, but I, what I'm trying to achieve is something that is very controlled but looks spontaneous, you know, and to get there, you need to really, <laughs> really work it. Uh, so, it, they were next, not exactly the takes of the same thing, you know, the yeah. constant tweaking in with the picture, with the, with the performance, you know, I changed some dialogue between take. 95 and 101. <laughs> no, no. Well, so her bad. favorite example was that I guess she had a sweater on and you weren't, apparent, this is allegedly, I mm. don't know, uh, you weren't crazy about the color and she said, it's black and white film, what are we doing here? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, no, this is already, <laughs> this is folklore. Well, yeah, it's folklore. <laughs> uh, fake fake <laughs> yes, lore. Yes. Uh, okay, so both of your parents have, have passed away, I know. Um, if they were able to see this film, what would they make of it? I don't know. My mother probably would say it's really boring and, you know, <laughs> try again, <laughs> try again. <laughs> no, I think they would have been proud. Yeah.